You guys can all see my screen, right? My hand and all that. Okay, so today's date is 10-7, and we're going to be talking about subtracting integers. So, so far we've learned about adding integers, multiplying and dividing integers, and all those videos are already up on YouTube. They have so many uh, views and likes, it's just unbelievable. So this will be also up in a short while. So I am going to have you guys copy this down. And then later on, you're going to be um, doing some classwork. And at the end, you're going to be taking like an exit ticket, which is based on this information. So it's very important that you pay attention and you learn and you ask questions if you have any. All right, subtracting integers. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. I woke up this morning and I realized, oh my gosh, today's the day. Today is the day that I dread every single school year. The reality is that I am a math teacher that hates subtracting. I can't stand it. I hate the sight of the subtractions. I just can't stand it. It brings me nightmares. I'm sure I'm going to have nightmares today because I had to go over this topic. So I hate it. I hate it so much that I don't want to see it ever. I don't. So when I have negative five minus three, this 100% makes Miss O'Malley very sad, borderline angry, because I just hate the sign of that subtraction sign. I hate it so much, and everybody's writing this down in their notebook. You're even including Miss O'Malley's sad, angry face on your notebook. I did it bigger. <laughs> so, when I see the subtraction sign, it just ugh, irritates me. So we're going to change it because your goal in life is to make Miss O'Malley happy. Your goal is to turn Miss O'Malley's frown upside down. So what we do is we keep the same the first number exactly the same. So right now it says negative five. I don't have a problem with negative numbers. I have a problem with subtraction. Me no like subtraction. I'm okay with a negative number though. So I'm going to keep the first number exactly the same because we don't have any problems. Like if I look at this problem from here, we're good, it's fine. So I keep it, No, nothing changes. All of a sudden I move my hand and I see that subtraction sign and it's just like, it's war. I don't like you, it doesn't like me, we don't like each other, so I get rid of it. So this subtraction sign turns into an addition sign and all in the world is back to normal. I like addition signs, who doesn't? Add more money to my bank account? course. So the subtraction sign turns into addition sign. Now the third, because we started changing, you see, we didn't change here. We were fine. We're good. All of a sudden here, it's like, oh, terrible. So now I got to keep changing everything after that. So this number, we have to change it to its opposite, opposite. So what is the opposite of the number three? What is the opposite? Yes, the very good. So the opposite of three is negative three. So remember guys, you guys are writing this down in your notebooks, on a sheet of paper, anywhere, back of a napkin, anywhere. You gotta write this down. Okay, so here we go. So now we have this brand new problem. It's negative five plus negative three. I like it, addition, awesome. So what is negative five plus negative three? Negative eight. And that would be your final answer. To get negative eight, you could have done, you know, the, the five negatives, one, two, three, four, five, and then three more negatives. So I can't circle anything. So you end up with negative eight. You could have done that. There's your answer. The point is, Miss O'Malley does not like to see those subtraction signs, so you must change them. Okay, so this is example number one. We're gonna head over to example number two. So let's say in example number two, I have 12 minus a negative 10. Well, all of a sudden, see that subtraction sign? Mad, so upset, I barely contain myself, just terrible. So in order to make me happy, make my frown upside down, the first number stays exactly the same. I don't have any issues with that first number. So I just drop it down, it stays exactly the same. If it's a positive, stays a positive. If it's a negative, it stays a negative. First numbers, we're okay, we're buddies, we're buddies. Now this minus sign, it's terrible, terrible. 
man, but you can't tell anybody that I don't like subtraction. It has to stay with within us, within this Zoom meeting. Okay, can't be telling Mr. Muniz, hey. So this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on Instagram. Mr. so this subtraction sign changes to this uh, addition sign. Mm-hmm. Because Miss O'Malley hates when, subtraction. And when it's addition sign, it changes to subtraction. Hello, hello. I hate subtraction. We don't change it to subtraction. Miss Lamelli hates, hates with the capital H, subtraction. So, so is that what the case is for on the paper? Yes. Plus, students, many moons ago, that means a very long time, I taught you adding mm -hmm. integers. Did I ever change these addition problems to subtraction problems? No. 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 No, because Miss Lamelli hates it. Miss Lamelli hates it. So she never changed it. But today, on this October 7th day, she's letting you on a little secret. A secret that you cannot tell the principal. Because, hello, what kind of math teacher am I who doesn't like subtraction? It's terrible. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So, the subtraction sign, when you see subtraction sign in my class, you will change it. You will change it to addition. And then the second number, you will do the opposite. So what is the opposite of negative 10? 10. 10. 10. Good. So now we're like, we're done with this old problem that I don't even want to look at. I don't even want to acknowledge that it's there on my paper. So now we have this brand new problem that makes Miss Lamelli super happy because there's an addition sign. So what is 12 plus 10? 22. 22 and you are done. So, Ms. Ellie, yes. So we only change the subtraction sign and the and the next and the second number. Yes, exactly. Very, very good summary of what I've been teaching you. You only change subtraction to addition, and you only change the second number. That's it. First number stays the same. That's an ugly, ugly subtraction sign. You change it. And then the second number also changes. So basically, as soon as you start changing, everything behind it starts changing. That's why the first number is okay, because you didn't change anything in the beginning. Okay, example number three. So negative eight minus a negative four. Oh, I hate it. I mean, I might start crying. I don't know. I might. How do you rewrite it? Negative eight plus negative four. Ooh. Wait. Negative eight plus four. Four. Yay, Miss Amelie's happy. Miss Amelie's happy. Okay, so now you have negative eight plus four, right? This is now, you look at this and you have an addition sign, so you're making me happy. Yay. You can go back to the notes that we wrote here. Oh, look. Oh, it opened up on its own. The rules for adding integers. If the signs are the same, you're going to add and keep. If the signs are different, you're going to subtract and then see what you have more of, right? So here are the signs the same or different? Different, so you're going to end up subtracting, but we're not going to talk about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can also draw them out and make zero pairs like I am right now. And whatever you have left over is your answer. So what I did not circle, what I did not circle, that is my answer of negative four. You can also go back and use the rules. I do need you to use the rules, especially when they're big numbers, right? You're not gonna sit there and draw negative 55 tiles and 60 positive tiles. You always wanna go back. If you had a sticky note, if you had a post-it, I would, I would po put a post-it right here because these are super important notes. These are the rules for addition. If the signs are the same, you add and keep. If the signs are different, you um, subtract. If you're missing those notes, oh, shocker, uh, there's a YouTube video on it. Believe it or not, I know, it's shocking. All right. So to summarize, I think it was Jason who summarized it very well a couple of minutes ago. So here are the rules for subtracting integers. Subtracting integers. Number one, it's called add the 
add the opposite. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing when we're changing it. We're, you're basically adding the opposite. All right, so add the opposite. How, does, how, how do I do that? Well, step A is to keep the first number the same. So hashtag is actually in my day referred to as number before it was a hashtag. So first step is to keep the first number the same. You keep the first number. <clears throat> change a second. <clears throat> After you keep the first number, you're going to change the subtraction sign into an addition sign because Miss Lamelli hates those subtraction signs. And then the last step in change in adding the opposite, you're going to change the second number to its opposite. So copy that down. Some mistakes that kids do is they'll change the first number. It's like, no, do not change the first number. The second thing that they'll do is they'll won't change the second number to its opposite. They'll keep it the same. It's like, no, 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 no. Do the opposite, do the opposite. So add the opposite. So what does that entail? First step, keep the first number, change subtraction to addition, and letter C is to change the second number to its opposite. Then, technically step number two is to follow the addition, follow the addition rules. Okay. And I understand that in the addition rules, the second part says, if they're different, you're going to subtract. And yes, you do end up subtracting sometimes. I don't want you to, I don't want you to think like, oh, we're never going to subtract. We are. What we're not going to do is we're not going to keep a problem in a subtraction form. You're always going to change it to add the opposite. At the end of it, you might end up subtracting, you know, but at least the, the problem has an addition sign. Ms. Lomeli likes addition signs. Okay, are there any questions? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna put you guys in breakout rooms. Now, the reason I put you in breakout rooms is to get help, okay? When I put you in breakout rooms, I can't force you to talk to each other. I can't. I don't have control over that, right? The reason you're in breakout rooms is so that the adults in the classroom can go into each of the breakout rooms and ask if you need help. And that's when you speak up and go, okay, I don't understand what she's talking about. Add the opposite. What does that mean? Or I don't understand number five on this worksheet. Like, what do I do? It's very hard for us to help you in a large room right now. So the reason I put you in breakout rooms is so that you have quiet time to work. And then we're going to come around and check your answers. We're going to come around and ask if you have any questions or things like that. So when we get to your breakout room, you can go, you know what? I, I'm lost. Um, or I got num number one. Is this the correct answer? And then you're on the right track. You feel good about yourself. So that's the main reason I put you guys in breakout rooms is so that we, the adults, can help you instead of in a big breakout room. Because if I go, hey, does anybody need help right now? You're all going to stay quiet. But if I put you in breakout rooms, I'm hoping that you'll speak up and receive help when needed. Um, another thing, if you're in a breakout room and there's no adult there and like you wait a couple minutes and there's still no adults, because remember, we're helping all the other groups. Um, you, there's a raise your hand or ask for help button and I get that message and then I will go to your team as soon as I can. Remember, sometimes I'm helping one team and I got to finish them and then go to the next team. So if you ever need help, please raise your hand. Okay, what you're gonna be working on right now is you're gonna be doing the subtracting level one group work and it's gonna be in a slide, period three slide. But here's the assignment I'm gonna collect. 
Take a picture of your notebook showing all the work and submit here. So the problems you're going to be working on in the breakout room, you're going to work in your notebook on it. You're going to write down. Then you're going to take a picture at the end of the period and submit a picture. Don't submit a screenshot of the computer. I'm the one who made the problems. I know what they look like. I want to check your work. So you're going to do these problems in your notebook. When you open it up, you're going to go to the slide that belongs to you. Okay, the slide that belongs to you. And you're going to do these 10 problems in your notebook. And then you're going to write down your answers in here. And um, the adults are going to go around and check to make sure you're a-okay. Ask questions. Okay, you guys might get lucky and have a teammate that's able to help you in the breakout rooms but we'll see. Okay. I also put the link in the chat. If you want to just click on that, it will directly take you there, but I got to get you into breakout rooms first. Um, recreate automatically. Let's do, um, 16. Oh, we're doing, oh, let's do, let's do a little bit bigger. Mm. Okay, let's try it. Let me see. Uh, let's move to nine. Just trying to make sure everyone has enough teammates. Four. Okay, ready, set, go. Open up your breakout rooms. Open up your breakout rooms. <sighs> Yay. Breakout rooms. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun times. Breakout rooms, breakout rooms, breakout rooms, go. All right. Come on, kids. Join your breakout rooms. Come back to Zoom and join your breakout room. Come back to Zoom. Natalie. Hello. Why are we still here? We should be in breakout rooms. No. Um, hurry up, hurry up before your team starts and you miss something super important. Okay, you guys are team two since I'm here. Puma's already on it. Hey, I got some great team members in this class, in this group. I love who I'm seeing in this class. I hope every time I jump to two, you guys are talking, you guys are sharing. Not one of you dominate the slide. Talk about your answers, okay? Most importantly is how do you rewrite the question, please? Okay. All right. And ask for help. If Valentin asks for help, please help him. Please. Please. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hey, team one. Are we on slide one already? Yes. All right. I like the members of this team. You guys are good. Ask for help. Don't stay quiet. If you guys need any help, please ask each other. You guys have got some strong math people in this group so you guys can collaborate. Um, if you guys are like, oh, the answer for number one is 10, you feel free to speak up and go, uh, I got 12. And someone is like, well, I got eight. So speak, share. You guys are very strong in math in this team. So make sure that you um, participate. Got it. Okay. You got to try to sit still. We don't want to watch you go like this because then you make us air sick, seasick, car sick. One of those sick. Move sick. Move sick, I guess. <laughs> Hi, teammate. What's up? You guys are team eight. Eight. So Liliana is there. Melanie's there. Jonathan, can you get to team to slide eight, Jonathan? So feel free to like, if you guys can help each other or discuss like, Hey, what'd you guys get for number one? Okay. Hello, Jonathan. Now go to slide eight, go to slide eight. Remember you should be on slide eight, Jonathan. Here is the link just in case. You didn't see it.
Natalie? Usiel, were, were you already in a... Natalie, Usiel? Natalie, Usiel, Natalie, Usiel, Usiel. I left, I left because uh, there's a loading thing that won't let me start my video or chat in the chat box. Oh, so hopefully now it does. Um, do you yeah. remember what team you were in? Uh, no, I was with Melissa Solis. Okay, let me find her. Hold on. Solis, Solis. Oh, there she is. Okay, so you're going to go... To team five. Wait, hold on. Nope, team four. No, 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 no. Darn. Sorry, hold on. No, wrong team. Four. You're team four. Okay, go. Natalie. Uh huh. Thank you. Natalie. 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 Are you there, Natalie? Natalie. 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 Usiel, what's up? Click on breakout room. Oh. Go, okay, click on breakout room at the bottom. There you go. Natalie. 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 Hi, guys. Samantha, welcome. Love that you joined us today. Samantha, can you please click on the link I just put in the chat so you can head on over to the slides, Samantha, and go to slide seven. Go to slide seven. And Dulce is already there. Okay. I'm glad you're here. Yay. Were you having some tech issues or what was up? I wasn't letting me know. Really? Well, you're here and hopefully you can make it every day to class so we can learn some awesomeness. Let me see. Oh, okay. Dulce. Let's go back to the first one. Dulce. Can you hear me, Dulce? <laughs> okay, cool. So Dulce. So the first one says five minus negative 21, right? So do we change the five? No. So go ahead and type it. We're going to write down the problem in the box. So uh, Dulce, go ahead and type in five in the box that you're in right now. Plus, so, cause I don't like that subtraction sign. So let's put a plus sign. Don't like it. Okay. okay. Now the negative 21, what's the opposite of negative 21? What's the opposite of negative 21? Type it in. What's the opposite of negative 21? So what's the opposite of negative 21? Negative 21. So Samantha, I see that you're on the slide now. Fantastic. Um, so we're typing in number one, the, the problem. So perfect, Dulce. So it's five plus 21. Exactly. So now tell me what is five plus 21 equal to? Boom. That's correct. So I would suggest you do that for all of them. So write down the problem. So the next one, negative five, do we change negative five? Nope. Don't change it. Don't change it. The first one stays exactly the same. Perfect. Subtraction sign. Hate it. Change it. Hate it. Can't stand it. Makes my eyes hurt. Good. And then trick question. What is the opposite of eight? What's the opposite of positive eight. Yes. Good. So now your problem reads negative five plus negative eight. What is negative five plus negative eight equal to? Negative 